two quick things before we begin. This is a two part video, but it doesn't matter which part you watch first. And this is my opinion. Got it? Okay, let's go. There are some mechanics in League of Legends that make me think like, wow, I hate this game. So here's a list of my least favorite League mechanics. That's five. Vladimir's passive. Gaining HP for beating AP and AP for beating HP. Here's why I think that it's problematic. Most champions have to choose between building defense or damage. Those that build damage often choose lifesteal, shields or zonia as a way to defend themselves, while those that build defensive items prefer the stop hitting yourself strategy. The only group of champions that go for a mix between resistances and damage are bruisers. This playstyle works well in early and mid game, but translates very poorly into the late game. So once again, for most champions, the best way to stay relevant in the late game is to either go for damage or defense. Meanwhile, Vladimir is all like, well, why not both? I don't know, I may be a bit salty, but I just think that it seems a bit unfair. And four. Four! Invisibility. But mostly Shaiku skill. Let me explain. There are two types of stealth in League of Legends. Camouflage and invisibility. Camouflage makes the unit visible at a certain range. Invisible champions can only be seen with true sight, so it bypasses the range problem, but it has two major downsides. It often lasts a lot shorter than camouflage and in many cases either leaves a big indicator to let you know that someone near you is invisible or restricts that champion to a certain place. Shaco only has this. It is visible through the fog of war, but I doubt that you'll notice it if you are not expecting a gang. It also bypasses the problem with this type of stealth lasting shorter by being a built-in flash, which also allows you to cover out more distance. In conclusion, I really like the overall design of Shaco, but his skill... There's a clown on the loose? Where? <laughs> That's three. Glacial Augment. Okay, here's a thing. Not a lot of champions can use Glacial Augment effectively, but those that do, make sure that you're not having fun while playing against them. I'm talking mostly about Senna and Vagar. Senna has an incredibly long auto-attack animation, so it's technically possible to leave its range and stop it. Vagar also has long cast times on his W and E, so it's easy to avoid the 1000 AP damage combo. It gets a lot harder if they have a built-in throw that removes their major weakness and helps them deliver the knuckle sandwich straight to you. Two down. Massive point and kick throws. Just... why do they exist? Zillion can throw you by 99% and throw two clocks to stun you while you're barely moving. And Nasus just... you know. That's one. Nautilus. Everything that he does. I already made a video about him, so I'm not going to repeat myself. A riot. You made him fine in your card game. Please do the same with your main game. And that's it. Those were my least favorite mechanics in League of Legends. If you want to know which mechanics are my favorite, click on the pop-up or check the description. Also follow me on Twitter, okay bye.